Superman dies, mental health, and Hurricane Michael are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is October 10th, 2022. It is the 283rd day of the year. Today's video is one of our abbreviated one because I am on vacation as we speak or as I speak and as you listen. Today is World Mental Health Day. Annually, World Mental Health Day on October 10th raises awareness and mobilizes efforts to support mental health. Mental health is a hot topic. This is good news. It means the stigma of mental health issues is slowly going away. I mean, people have them. It's just that's part of life. Just like people have cancer, people have arthritis. It's just one of those things. But the more people talk about it and the more people know about it, that just means it gets more attention, gets more money, for research, things like that, and hopefully we could fix some of the problems that people have. All right, let's see what else October 10th has given us. 1913, President Woodrow Wilson triggers the explosion of the Gamboa Dyke, completing major construction on the Panama Canal. 1957, U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower apologizes to Ghana's finance minister after he was refused service in a Delaware restaurant. Yes, it was a racially motivated refusal. 1973, U.S. Vice President Spiro Agnew resigns after being charged with evasion of federal income tax. 2018, Hurricane Michael makes landfall in Florida's panhandle as a catastrophic Category 5 hurricane. It kills 57 people in the United States, 45 in Florida alone, and causes an estimated $25.1 billion in damages. Movies released on October 10th, 1980, Private Benjamin, a spoiled wealthy young woman, joins the United States Army after her new husband dies on their wedding night. The film was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. Goldie Hawn was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. And Eileen Brennan for Best Supporting Actress. For a comedy, this is rare. They don't ever get the top nods. At least back then. These days a little bit more, but back then, no, not at all. You had to be a drama or an epic war movie or historical movie to get the Academy Award or at least a nomination. Pretty funny movie though. I was originally stationed after basic training at Fort Ord, California and they bring that up in the movie. The, rec the recruiter totally lies during the movie going, oh, you could be stationed at Fort Ord, California where you get your own condo and a sailing boat, <laughs> which is total nonsense. The film was one of the biggest box office hits of 1980. It ranked 82nd on the American Film Institute's 100 Years, 100 Laughs list. Born on October 10th, 1967, Gavin Newsom. He's an American politician who became the Lieutenant Governor of California in 2011 after serving as the 42nd Mayor of San Francisco from 2004 to 2011. In January 19th, he became the 40th Governor of California. His popular Care Not Cash program helps move homeless people into city-assisted care. He attended Santa Clara University where he earned a degree in political science. Some people theorize that he's getting ready to run for the president in the next eight years or so. Died on October 10th, 2004, we lost Christopher Reeve, star of 1978 Superman who was tragically paralyzed in a 1995 horse riding accident. He received a Screen Actors Guild Award in 1998 and the Lasker Award in 2003. After becoming paralyzed, he became an activist for stem cell research. Katherine Hepburn helped him get his first role in the 1975 Broadway play, A Matter of Gravity. He was really good friends with uh, Robin Williams. They went to Juilliard together in the 1970s. Obviously, Christopher Reeve had different medical issues because of his paralysis. On October 9th, 2004, Reeve attended his son Will's hockey game. That night, he went into cardiac arrest after receiving an antibiotic for an infection. He fell into a coma and was taken to the hospital. 18 hours later, on, on October 10th, he died at the age of 52. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a productive day, and be nice to each other.